Hey guys, I'm going to be un unboxing this Noctua 80mm fan for you. Okay, get started. You must be wondering why I bought this pretty expensive fan. Um, well, I'm done a home feeder PC. As you, if you've already seen my other videos on my channel, um, go look if you haven't. I've, I've, I'm slowly putting together a home feeder PC. Got the case, got everything I needed. The last one I need is a CPU, and I want got these fans specifically because I wanted the most airflow possible at the least noise. I want this thing to be dead silent. Noctua has a large reputability to um, have very quiet fans. So that's why I got this. Um, I'm boxing, I ended up getting the PWM ones. The reason I got I got two of these from New Age. This is only one of them. Um, and I, there's a, like a 20% off coupon, and the PWM ones are the only one in stock, which isn't necessarily a bad thing because my motherboard I got supports PWM. And the bright side is these come with a um, it comes with a splitter. I don't know. I'll, I'll start taking out the box. I'll show you the cables. It does come with a splitter um, that I've already utilized, and that's very useful because I only have one extra four-pin port on my motherboard. This just kind of shows how to install these rubber things. I actually, they actually work pretty well. I, I was in another room. Installing the computer actually right now, and all I have to do later is install the CPU, and I'll have my computer working. Let's get this undone here. I really like the package. I mean, I guess if I'm paying this much, I better get some good packaging too. Uh, but really, if you think about it, it's not that expensive. You would pay ten dollars for a normal fan, or like a semi, like quiet, regular 80 millimeter fan, like Silverstone, for instance, or like ten dollars. I think. I think if like, and that's just a fan. So if I can pay $17, I think is what these came to each or something, um, I get this accessory. This is just an extension cable, and it's, like, highly high-quality wrapped rubber around it, and I like that a lot. It's like, I can't really do this myself. So, like, I'll have these extension cables now, uh, and they're four-pin extension cables, not three-pin. And the thing is, you buy these separately, even the crappy ones, like for a three pin I bought separately. They're like same purpose as this. And they're like a dollar, but then you have to pay like three dollars shipping on them. So you uh, it's like just for those alone you practically pay up the price already to what these are if you're gonna use the cables. And of course it comes with their standard um low noise adapter. All it is is a um a resistor and line and here's a really tiny resistor. And that just cuts down the voltage and just makes the fan spin slower, thus creating less noise. Um, so that's what that adapter does. And it comes with the splitter I was talking about. Like I used another one. That's going to be very useful to help get two P um, WM fans at the same time, which I do have. So that's going to be very useful. Um, and the fan itself, I actually have listened to this. Uh, and it is very quiet. Like to hear it on regular, just with this plugged in, I had I had 12 volts. Um, I had someone who had like a DC um, power supply output thing that you can manually adjust voltage. It's pretty cool. So I stuck it right at 12 volts. Stuck two like um, paper clips in here, and it's right at 12 volts. So it should be the same as a PC. And that max fan output. And thus, being this close to my head, like on the floor, where it didn't vibrate or anything, I could hear it a little bit. I think about this far away, I could hardly hear it. And of course, being anything more than that, I couldn't. And that course, this is without a case. And then if you, um, to run at the low noise adapter, I have to be like this close to it to hear it. So pretty much you don't hear it with the low noise adapter enabled. So that's pretty awesome. And... You got these little things right here. Let's see if I can take one out. These kind of gave me a little bit of pain. Oops, all four of them came out. Um, 
these little rubber things, They're like silicon mounts that just like kind of stick through here. They go through your case, and then they go into the fan. You kind of pull them, and they kind of pop through. At first, I didn't think. I thought you just push them through, but you have to pull on them. I thought they were gonna break. They're actually pretty strong materials, I guess silicon rubber or something. Um, I did have one problem with my case, and I'll probably explain that when I make a video on my computer build later on. If you want to see that down below, it might be already made, depending on when you're watching this, this video. But uh, I couldn't get, because of the tight constraints, I couldn't get this pulled through, and thus get a tight seal on this the bottom left one. The other three I was able to get pulled through. Then I tried like sticking a screwdriver in here, and like see if I could push it through, and that didn't really work so well. And it kind of like kneaded up the end right here and everything else. And it kind of like ripped the rubber on this side. But uh, that was my own fault and nothing there. So it's not supposed to be meant, meant to do that. So far I think like the fact that it held up to that so well. I was like grinding it with a screwdriver. Pushing it in and trying to get it to go through and it didn't. It's pretty impressive to me. But so far so good with these things. Um, comes with regular screws if you want to do that as well but I use those rubber things to make it as quiet as possible I guess that's really all it is to an unboxing if you have any questions about this fan comment below and I'll see you in the next video